So today's video is insane. I've never ever ever been more excited about a ColourPop launch ever in my life. And that is because me and ColourPop have collabed once again. We have teamed up once again and we have created the Zodiac Collection. Now I know there are so many questions and if you don't know me, you could possibly be looking at this box and being like, what? I don't understand. What is going on? I'm going to be showing you guys everything, the entire collection. So this is going to be a very, very long video. I'm going to have timestamps in the description box letting you know when everything starts because this is kind of going to be like a huge all-in-one video. It's going to be about the collection, but it's also going to be about astrology as well. I've actually gotten so many comments to do an entire cat chats video dedicated to zodiac signs and what I think about the signs. So I'm going to be doing that in today's video as well. It's going to be a combination of a lot of things, swatches and chit chats. It's going to be a lot. So as you guys know I have been really close with Colourpop since the very beginning and Colourpop knows the obsession I have with zodiac signs. I've kind of been obsessed I would say for about three years now or over three years I have just been really really into zodiac signs. I read a lot about zodiac signs. There's not a day that goes by in my regular day-to-day -day life where I don't bring up signs. It's just it's so vital to my life. I know it sounds crazy especially for those of you who don't really believe in zodiac signs. I know a lot of people don't. I don't know why because it is so beyond accurate and I'm not talking about horoscopes and those general things you read on the internet that can pretty much match any single sign. I'm not talking about those daily horoscopes. I'm talking about your actual birth chart, your sun sign, your moon sign, your rising sign, all of that. If you really do your research, like real research and look into it, it's so crazy how accurate it can be. But anyway, I'm obsessed. I love it. In my day-to-day -day life, I don't shut up about it. And it's funny because ColourPop knows this. Jordan knows this. I'm, we're always talking about how we're both Aquariuses. And when Jordan told me that ColourPop wanted to do a Zodiac um, inspired palette, it's actually been extremely requested for them. But when they told me about it, and they approached me and let me know that I could do it, I almost died. I was so excited. I still remember that conversation. Like, I still can't believe ColourPop let me do a Zodiac palette. Oh my god, it's insane. Well, palette and other stuff. There's other stuff in this collection. I'm so grateful that ColourPop let me do my thing for this collection and just trusted me to create this because I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When ColourPop was telling me that they were getting a lot of requests for like a Zodiac palette, I, I got really nervous as to what colors they would pick for specific signs because you know ColourPop. They have like a purple eyeshadow called Golden Hour or something like that. Like they love naming things, things that don't even make sense. They look at a blue eyeshadow and they're like, mm, pink martini. I was very nervous that they would create like a Aquarius color and do it like hot pink or something. They honestly just allowed me to do whatever I wanted and it was amazing. So this is the PR box and I love the way it looks in the light. Like when it catches the light, you see all the little signs. Oh my God. So for the PR box, this is what it looks like. I kind of wanted to make a sister collection to my Dream Street collection. I mean, obviously they're completely different collections, but they play really well with one another. And it's just so funny how things come around because I have a lip gloss in my Dream Street collection that's called Moon Child, which a moon child is a cancer. And then it has all the signs just like drawn out there. And it was really amazing because the graphic designer that they chose uh, for my collection specifically, she's the sweetest, she's so cool, she's an Aries, I love her. And she did such an amazing job, exactly what I wanted, exactly what I envisioned. Like, oh. She was fabulous. This will be available for purchase the day that the collection goes live, which is July 26, exactly one week away from today, and the PR box will be available for purchase, but obviously it's very, very, very limited quantity. Like if you want the actual PR box, it's just whatever is available, first come, first serve, whatever they ordered. It has these little doors, and then you open it, and it is the magic. It's funny because when we sat down to brainstorm about all the products that we were gonna create, we already knew that the first thing was gonna be the eyeshadow palette, which is the Zodiac palette. 12 eyeshadows, 12 signs. I already knew, I already had the vision. But for the rest of the products, I wanted to do something I've never done before. I haven't done anything in their Lux formula, which is an amazing formula. The Lux lipsticks, they feel so luxurious, high quality, they're amazing. So we have the palette, the two Luxe lipsticks, we have two Super Shock highlighters, and two Supernova eyeshadows. You guys have no idea, I was going back and forth with the packaging for a really long time because I didn't know if I wanted black packaging or navy blue packaging. I was so in between, I was so indecisive. So we did a little bit of both. But now let's go into what you came here for. Um, oh, wait a minute, why did I close this? I think I'm gonna start with because out of everything that I created, this is the product that's least personal to me. The other products are more like my vibe, what I like to wear. But the eyeshadow palette is different. This is like all of us, guys. 
all of us in this palette. So the actual unicart in it comes in is black and it has all the little designs in rose gold. And then when you open it, the actual palette inside is navy blue. So it's a little, so I trick you a little bit there. In the front you have six of the signs and then on the back of the palette you have the other six signs. So when I was deciding which ones I wanted in the front, I was like, okay, so obviously I want the Aquarius in the front because I'm an Aquarius. So boom, we got the water bearer right here. So then I thought, well, we might as well add my moon sign in the front, right? So that's the Scorpio right here. I'm a Scorpio moon. And then I thought, oh, Danny's gotta be on the palette. So <laughs> I put the Taurus in the front. It's also Celine's sign. So Celine is on the front too. And then of course I couldn't leave my other two dogs out. So Cornelius is a Gemini and Porter is a Leo. And then I had space for one more and I put Sagittarius because I think the arrow is so freaking cute and I wanted it in the front. <laughs> and in the back you have your Virgo, your Pisces, your Cancer, your Aries, your Capricorn, and your Libra. Um, and it's stunning. I think it's stunning. Uh, uh, just kidding, just kidding. This is what it looks like. Oh my god, is that a mirror you ask? Yes it is. This is a brand new palette I haven't touched yet. I just got like my PR box in the mail today. So all of this stuff is new. The one that I've been using is real janky. Yes, the new palette has a mirror. I know that that was a huge request from you guys when Dream Street came out. And the reason Dream Street didn't have a mirror, by the way, is because I wanted you to save money on that part. The palettes without a mirror are $16 for 12 eyeshadows and the palettes with a mirror are $18. And I personally think that it is worth the extra two dollars that way you can travel with it you always have a mirror and it is a very 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 great mirror now i'm gonna walk you through all the colors and i'm sure you're looking at this palette and you're like hmm interesting i agree that when you first look at this you're like okay what's going on but if you don't know anything about the zodiac guys every single zodiac sign has a color most signs have various colors but in order to make a full functioning palette i had to make some changes and i had to do a few things to a few shades in order for it to make sense because if not this would have been a rainbow palette if i were to rearrange this just based on colors i would definitely move a few shades around to make it look more appealing but it had to go in this order because this is the order of the signs but if you play around these colors swatch them on your hand mix them up you can get so many different eye looks and it's crazy how inspired I get when I use this palette. This is the only palette I have on my eyes today, by the way. Before I get into swatches, I just want to mention that now the eyeshadow names are on the palette. You know, before the names were just on the back of the palettes, and it was getting really confusing for people to like read them. And the reason they start with the is actually my fault. I know it's called the Zodiac palette, but I wanted to just name them Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, but I couldn't do that since I created an Aquarius lippy stick and a Taurus lippy stick years ago. I couldn't name something Aquarius and Taurus anymore because those names were already taken and ColourPop doesn't have any two products with the exact same name. So I thought, how can I get around that? So I put the word the in front of all the names. So this is the Aries, the Taurus, the Gemini, the Cancer. And I actually think it sounds cute, you know, like when you're dipping your brush into the Aquarius or into the Leo. I don't know. Let's get into the swatches and all the Zodiac talk. Okay, so first up we have the Aries. This color is kind of like a metallic orange that has a little bit of golden flecks throughout it. But when you apply it all over the lid, you get more of that intense orange color. The gold doesn't really come through. But it is so, so stunning all over the lid. I feel like I don't have a lot of colors in my collection that are exactly like this. I have a lot of warm eyeshadows, don't get me wrong, but I don't have many oranges that look like this. It's kind of spontaneous and fun, which is exactly like an Aries. Fire signs are the life of the party. Sagittarius's, Leo's, and Aries, like they just know how to have fun, man. And when I was originally making this color, I didn't want an orange. I wanted an intense, hot, neon red, because that's the first thing I think of when I think of Aries. But when we were developing it, there was just a lot of back and forth. Not everyone is comfortable with wearing red eyeshadow on their eyes. I do it all the time. And yeah, it stains my eyelids just a little bit, but I don't find it such a big deal. But I know a lot of people do, and a lot of you guys out there just stay away from red eyeshadow in general. So we went with the next best thing for Aries, and we made this intense, fiery orange. And I will say the best way to use this eyeshadow is wet, like this. Wet this eyeshadow and put it all over your lid. It's stunning. I love your fire and your passion. You guys are so driven and I love how courageous Aries are. I feel like they are so brave. They're like the bravest sign. They're just like not afraid of anything, man. They're actually very inspiring. They inspire me every day. They're just a little impulsive. A little impulsive. They really do act on impulse and they can be a bit aggressive. Their ruling planet is Mars though, which is the ancient god of war. So that tells you something. There's one thing I will say about Aries though. If you're planning on dating an Aries out there, just be very aware that they love the chase. They love the game, they love the fire and the passion. And sometimes for them, the chase is 
more exciting than the reward at the end of the chase. You know what I mean? It's just like, keep your guard up with those areas out there because sometimes they just come in like a fire, like a tornado, and they just F up your whole life. Okay, so the next color is the Taurus, and this is a very, very Taurus color, I would say. It's a warm brown, but it's kind of like a dirty warm brown. I don't know how to explain this. Kind of like a more yellowy undertone, but you can still use this with a bunch of different lid shades. I feel like this crease color just works with so many different eyeshadows. It can be a cool tone brown if you want. It can be a warm brown if you want. Very dependable crease shade, just like a Taurus. Very dependable and solid. And Taurus is actually my favorite sign in the Zodiac. Not because Danny's a Taurus. I actually want to punch Danny in the face a lot of the times because he's a Taurus. But because they're just so loyal and awesome. They always keep me very grounded. They're very dependable, very patient, just very stable. Um, you always feel like safe around a Taurus. I don't know what it is about them, but I just always feel safe around them. My friend America actually has the exact same birthday as Danny, and I feel like they're the same freaking person. They're very determined, they're very practical, they're hard workers, they really like to be successful, and they don't like the what ifs, they don't like the rocky roads, they're a fixed sign, which means they like what they like and they're not very good with change. An Aries is a ram, a Taurus is a bull, which means they're extremely stubborn though they have a million a million great qualities to them but holy crap they are the most stubborn sign in the zodiac then he's actually a triple taurus so imagine that his sun sign is taurus moon sign taurus and his rising sign is taurus really set in their ways it's really hard to change their mind when they're set on something and they can kind of come off kind of rugged and just you know but I love all you Tauruses out there you guys are ride or die and I feel like I can always depend on you if I had to be stranded on a deserted island with 20 people I want 10 of them to be Tauruses. And then the rest, fire signs, because they get you done. All right, so up next we have the Gemini. I can't believe this video is so long. I sh I'm sorry. This is the most foiled, delicious eyeshadow in this palette. I don't even know how to explain it. It is so freaking magical, and it is so, you look at this, look at this. Wow. Boom. Look at that glow right there. <gasps> This color is so unique, I can't even describe it. It's a gold, I, I would say, but it kind of has a quality to it that makes you go like, well, is it a little green or is it a little yellow? Like, I can't really describe this shade, which is kind of how I feel about Geminis. Just kidding, I don't want the Geminis to kill me. They're a little bit uh, cuckoo, I will say, a little cuckoo, but you know, a little cuckoo never hurt anybody, which probably means me and you would get along great because I'm an air sign and air signs tend to get along with air signs, you know, you tend to get along with your same element. The Geminis are the twins, so a lot of people think that Geminis are two-faced, they're sneaky, well, they're a little sneaky, but they're not necessarily two-faced. The thing with Geminis is they are very hot and cold. I feel like they have a lot of extremes to them because they are the twins. I really do feel like it depends on the mood that a Gemini is in, but I love them. They're energetic, they're fun, they're bubbly, they like communication, like they love conversation. They're also not very emotional, I feel. If you're a Gemini at home and you're thinking, what are you talking about, girl? I'm a Gemini and I am so emotional. You probably have a very emotional moon sign, which I've gotten a lot of questions about this, but if you don't know, you can find your moon sign just by knowing what time you were born. Just go on Google, that's how I do it. Just go on Google and search birth chart, how do I find my moon sign? Something like that, and usually like a birth chart will pop up and you can just fill in the blanks. Geminis typically aren't super emotional. They're driven by their mind more than their emotions. They just think through everything that they do in life. But I love them. The Gemini is like the jack of all trades and they're not as bad as people think. Next up we have the Cancer. And this one was very difficult for me to create because I didn't know what color I wanted for Cancer. Cancer colors are typically like silvers or um, just like colors of the moon and this is a lot pinker than the moon but when I first got my sample in the mail that I swatched it and I tested it I was like I'm obsessed with the eyeshadow I was gonna make it more moon like but we already have Mooney in the Dream Street palette anyway <laughs> so I wanted to make something that was a lot more intense and this is definitely the highlight shade in the palette I'm wearing it right now as my brow bone highlight and as my inner corner highlight and it just gives the most beautiful reflection and cancers are amazing I love cancers I have so many cancers in my life my dad's a cancer I have back-to-back -back birthdays in July it's crazy cancers are a water sign in case you didn't know they are the crab just like the other water signs they're very emotional they're sensitive water signs are usually more in tuned with feelings especially since their ruling planet is the moon the moon is a very powerful planet that's why cancers tend to be so intuitive and just 
so deep, very nurturing. Cancers are also huge homebodies. If you're a cancer out there, you love being home and just being comfortable in your environment. And they're just awesome. When they love you, they love you really, really hard too. Like really hard. And then next up we have the Leo, which I feel like I have to say it like that. The Leo. They're the best at everything. They, they're just like unbeatable. They're the, the, they're the best sign. I'm just kidding. But if you ask any Leo out there, I guarantee you that's what they'll tell you. It's crazy. Every Leo I come across, they're like, oh, I'm a Leo, which is the best one, obviously. It's really funny. Um, I love Leos, though. They're so much fun, and this eyeshadow is so much fun. When I was creating this color, I didn't even go back and forth. I knew exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that was gold, but that was a unique gold. It wasn't just like a run-of-the-mill gold that you see all the time, you know, I needed some fire to it. It's a gold with a little bit of an orange undertone. When you turn your hand around or when you move your eyes around, you really see that orange peek through the gold. And I feel like I'm gonna do some Leo's proud out there. I feel like if you're a Leo, you're gonna love this eyeshadow. I was really nervous about your eyeshadows, especially because you guys have to have the best. <laughs> Leo's are awesome, they're very powerful, like they have a presence. When a Leo walks into the room, you know they're walking into the room. They really like to be the center of attention. They love it, they live for it, but a lot of them can tend to be very insecure. They'll have like issues within themselves. Like a lot of the times it'll be like physical insecurity issues. Not always, but a lot of the times. And they won't really let anybody know that. They won't They won't show people their insecure side because to them, confidence is everything. If you're a Leo, your ruling planet is the sun, which is probably why they're like, Sometimes they can be extremely immature. That is something I will I have noticed with Leos, especially the guys. They can be like man children, like giant man child. But I still love them. I still love them. Next up, we have the Virgo, which is the other Earth sign in the palette. So I went with a deeper, more cooler toned brown. It's totally different from Taurus. This brown is going to be your outer corner brown, your deepening brown. As you can see here, it kind of looks gray almost. It's a very cool toned brown. And I actually love using this eyeshadow really, really close to my lashes. It makes your look so smoldering, so sexy and smoky. I never thought I would love a cool toned brown this much. And it's definitely one of the eyeshadows in the palette that I use all the time. Like there are three colors I use nonstop and this is one of them. I actually really, really love Virgos. Virgos are just really, really hardworking individuals. They can be a little OCD. They like their things very, very organized. They like their things well kept. They like their things clean. They're very hygienic. They just, you know, they they like their shit good. And like the other earth signs, they're also very dependable, really practical, really helpful, really smart. I feel like besides fire signs, whenever you need to get something done, ask a Virgo, especially a woman Virgo. Man, women Virgo do not play, guys. I'm scared of all of them. They just really have a presence to them. They're just very determined, headstrong women. They can also be very dedicated. They have a lot of willpower. I feel like, I know this is random, but for example, if you have like a Pisces that smokes cigarettes and then a Virgo that smokes cigarettes, I can almost guarantee you that the Pisces will have a harder time quitting cigarettes than the Virgo. Is that weird? So next up we have the Libra. This is also one of my favorite freaking eyeshadows in this palette. This is in between a matte and a satin. Well, actually, no, I would say it's a satin <laughs> eyeshadow. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it, and you totally use this eyeshadow the same way you would use a matte eyeshadow. But because of the satin finish, it's almost like, it gives you like a different look on the eyes, and it blends like butter. And I feel like that does represent Libra nicely. You know that I will say Libras are my favorite sign that I get along with. Tauruses are my favorite people, but who I just vibe with the most Libras. They're just naturally so charming. Like, you just love talking to a Libra. You just kind of get swept away by a Libra. They don't like fighting. They really do just like harmony. And if you didn't know, the Libra symbol are the scales, and they're all about balance. A lot of the times, you'll talk to a Libra, and you'll just like be venting. Like, oh, my friend did this, and I'm so mad. And a lot of the times, the Libra will be like, well, Maybe she did that because she felt this type of way. Like, they're always there to defend the other side as well. They like to see all sides and they like to be very fair. They're very fair humans and I love them. They're fun. They're a lot of fun too. Up next we have the Scorpio. And for Scorpio, I had a similar issue like what I had with the Aries. When I see Scorpio, I think of like burgundy, crimson, blood red. But I had that similar Aries issue where I didn't want the eyeshadow to be a burgundy or a red because I didn't want anybody to get nervous about wearing them. So I went with like a burgundy purple instead but it has like that seductive secret undertone like a Scorpio does it's so beautiful and it 
makes brown eyes look so delicious. I love it. I wear this one all over my lid all the time. And Scorpios are another sign that get a lot of bad rap. And I like them. And I'm not just saying that because that's my moon sign. Because honestly, I wish that was not my moon sign. Your emotions are all over the place. But I feel like Scorpios aren't as bad as people make them seem. They're a little aggressive. So sometimes they freaking snap. I would say they're the most intense sign. Actually, more intense than Aries. Different intents. A lot of them are very morbid, kind of obsessed with death. They like to peek into that side and like the paranatural, paranatural, what? Paranormal, <laughs> paranormal side. They're like spooky like that. A lot of the times people will say that they're like the freaky sign. They're very sexual. They like that, that heat, that passion. They live for it. They just desire a lot of things. And when a Scorpio wants something, they want it and they will do anything they, they, they can to get it. This one is the Sagittarius. This is a deep, Stunning, stunning, rich, freaking purple. It is epic. Like, look at this. Look at this. I'm actually wearing this on my outer corners today and in my inner corners as well. I did kind of like a halo eye. I love this color. It's so awesome on the lower lash line as well. Even if you don't wear purple, if you're looking at this and you're like, that's unwearable, I just, I would never wear that on my lids. Wear it on your lower lash line. Okay, my camera died, which is a clear indication that um, this video is way too long. I'm only on the first product. So what was I saying? Oh yes, Sagittarius. It is stunning when you smoke it out. It makes your eyes look amazing. I kind of feel like if I had to switch signs with any other sign, it would be a Sagittarius because I feel like they're so confident. They're so positive, so optimistic, just so full of life. Like I want to be them. And they're very generous. Like they love helping people. They love talking to people. They're just so adventurous and energetic and I love being around them. I just love their attitude towards life. They're always up for a challenge. The Sagittarius is the friend that you can call at two o'clock in the morning to go hang out and they're just like down for whatever. They're just ready. They just never back down, man. I really, really like them a lot. They can be a little bit pretentious, I will say, but man, I like them. Next up, we have my other favorite shade in the palette. I keep saying that, but I love the Capricorn color. This is a really deep matte black, but it has a ton of gold and green sparkle all throughout this eyeshadow. This is awesome for an all over smoky eye. I love black smoky eyes. I know they can be very intimidating, but they're so easy to do and they're fun. But you can use this eyeshadow on the outer corners, make your look very smoky. This is perfect for that. And the best thing about this is all you have to do is tap off your brush if you don't like sparkle. Like for example, if you're looking at this eyeshadow and you're like, great, I would love to use that, except I never use sparkle in my black, that's weird. All you have to do is dip your pencil brush in there a couple times, tap off the glitter and then go in and 90% of the sparkle is completely gone. You might have like two little specks there, but you could just dust that away. I always use this eyeshadow just by tapping off the brush whenever I don't want any of the sparkle and I feel like you can get the best of both worlds. This is my little Hannah Montana eyeshadow and I love it. And I also love Capricorns. I love earth signs because I like to be around people who are very sturdy and dependable because I feel like I'm not like that. But Capricorns are awesome. They're very hardworking as well, very determined. They're typically very intelligent. A lot of the times they're very sarcastic, very witty. I feel like they're always thinking about the future and like goals that they're trying to achieve, but they're kind of like their own worst enemy at the same time. I feel like a lot of Capricorns kind of have the short end of the stick a lot of the times, like they kind of have shitty looks sometimes. They're ruled by the planet of Saturn, which is the planet of like limitations. So they kind of struggle a little bit with certain things in their life, but that doesn't stop them from reaching their goal. They're very determined, they're hustlers. Earth signs are just typically very down to earth. You know, they're not very wild. They don't like to like go and blow money and do crazy things. They're just, you know, they're dependable, man. I like them. Okay, next up we have the Aquarius, and this is me. Here we have me, and I knew when I was making Aquarius, I'm like, color pop, I want a matte cobalt blue. That's a little bit lighter than you would think, like a little bit lighter than like a royal cobalt blue. Something a little bit lighter than that, but pretty much cobalt. This is what you got right here. It's a matte cobalt, and let me tell you, this color is very, 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 very hard to make. This is definitely a swatch that needs like two swatches here, so I dipped back into the palette. It's a color you just have to build up, but it's so beautiful, I love it. I actually swatched this color compared to so many cobalts in my collection, high end and everything, and the payout in this one is actually really, really, really great in comparison to those. 
This is just a hard color to make, but this is a good one, and I love it. I'm actually wearing a blue eyeliner in my waterline today. I didn't film this look, by the way. If you want a tutorial, let me know. I used the blue eyeliner from Marc Jacobs in my waterline, but then I smudged this underneath to really bring down the blue, and then I mixed it in with Sagittarius. It actually pairs well with other colors in this palette, and you wouldn't think so, but it goes really well with Sagittarius, and I love it with Libra, like mixed with Libra, like on the lower lash line. Really, really, really stunning. And I feel like that is such a freaking Aquarius color. Like, ugh, Aquarius cannot be anything else if not a freaking electric blue like this. I have my reservations about Aquariuses, I gotta say. And I don't like to misjudge them because I'm an Aquarius, so I understand. But man, we are strange. I feel like every Aquarius I meet is so strange, and I feel like a lot of people have that opinion about me. Like when I go around to beauty events, like with other influencers, I kind of feel like a sore thumb just like sticking out, but I feel like that's the Aquarius in me. I'm gonna give you a few qualities of an Aquarius that are nothing like me, which is why I tell you that your whole birth chart is very important, because it's not only about your sun sign, but Aquariuses tend to be very assertive, very independent. They tend to have strong opinions too, like if they like something, they really don't like something. If they look, well actually I'm kind of like that, but I wouldn't say I'm independent at all. I need my parents at all times, I need my dogs at all times, I need Danny at all times. I'm not independent. But, but Aquariuses are extremely independent. It's kind of inspiring, I wish. I didn't get that quality. I also really love that they're very original, they're creative. A lot of the times Aquariuses will be like artists. They're very innovative, they're inventive, they're just, I guess because they're so strange, you know, it just like ties together. A lot of people actually think that Aquarius is a water sign. People tell me all the time, but we're not a water sign, we are an air sign. It's just that we are water bearers, so it's very confusing. They are the humanitarian sign, so they're usually like in the Peace Corps, and they're very like peaceful, like a uh, hippie tree lovers. <laughs> the water pouring out of the, what is that, a cauldron thing, you know? The water pouring out symbolizes like truth. Um, Aquariuses seek the truth and they like to spread truth and positivity and they tend to be very accepting. Even though they're extremely opinionated, I wouldn't say they're very judgmental. Things I don't like about Aquariuses, man, they're very detached. It's part of being an air sign. I feel like my life is a constant struggle between my sun sign and my moon sign because I don't like strangers and I'm very detached in that way. Like I'm weird about emotion and I don't show my emotions. It's like I'm very secretive and reserved, but I'm also really, really emotional. Like I'm very detached and dry, but also extremely sensitive and I cry every day. But I hate that, you know, I hate that about us. I hate that we're weird with hugs, man. They can kind of be very off-putting sometimes and very standoffish and like, don't touch me. They're not very approachable, and I hate that. Last but not least, we have the Pisces, and this is another one of my favorites. This, this is literally Pisces. There's no other way to describe Pisces, no other color. And I know that you look at this eyeshadow, like immediately your eye goes there, and you're like, wow, that's kind of like out of the blue. That's, that's a random eyeshadow thrown in there. But you can work this eyeshadow in to all these other colors, and it looks so freaking cool. Let me show you this. Okay, so this, this eyeshadow is special. This is like a seafoam blue, like a tealy, greeny, seafoamy aqua color. Yeah, aqua. That was the word I was looking for. But it has a bunch of this like thick sparkle in it, but it's not glitter. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It is so freaking stunning. The thick sparkle in it is what makes it look so foiled and metallic when you apply it on the lids. For the ColourPop photo shoot, the makeup artist used this eyeshadow and mixed it in with like lip gloss and then applied it on my lid and made it like glossy and wet and it was insane. But I mean, you can use Fix Plus, not lip gloss, and get a very similar effect and it looks gorgeous. I love this color all over the lid, but I also love this color in the inner corners. Like if you want a fun pop of aqua, it's so stunning. And I'm telling you, it applies amazing when it's dry, but if you wet that eyeshadow, I just had deja vu. Wow, really weird. But if you wet that eyeshadow, I'm having a moment. <laughs> it's amazing wet and dry, it's awesome. Pisces are the fish of the zodiac. Um, I, I really love Pisces people because they're a lot, don't get me wrong, like holy shiz, they are a lot. And I feel like a lot of the times, people could only take them in small dosages. Like think about a Pisces in your life. Think about it hard. Do you feel like you can only take them in small amounts? I understand because I feel that way about my mother. My mom is a Pisces and she's just a lot. There's a lot of emotions. Pisces are extremely, extremely sensitive. They're very intuitive as well. A lot of the times Pisces will be freaking psychic. They're also very romantic. I feel like they're the most romantic sign. They're very easily swept away, which is why you have to be a little bit careful with Pisces. They kind of just live in their own dream world, in their own fantasy dream world under the sea. Like they really live this fairy tale life. But it's kind of nice, and I kind of like that about them, even though it's really unrealistic. What I don't like about them is 
I, I've never seen any sign snap the way a Pisces does. Every single Pisces in my family has proven this. There's Pisces all over the place in my life. When you piss off a Pisces, hide in your closet because it's gonna get it's gonna get intense. Yeah. But they're such good people and because they're so like in tune with emotions, they really feel what other people are feeling. I feel like they really are empaths and they really care. I love you Pisces out there. You're like my favorite. So, oh my gosh, okay. I know that was really, really long, but I really wanted to go into detail about each sign. This is my favorite thing in the collection. If you have to get one thing, I would get this. And it's also an amazing sister palette to Dream Street. These colors were made for each other. I even have them in a magnetic ColourPop palette. I put my Dream Street palette and my Zodiac palette together in this palette, so. We can move on to the next best thing in the collection. This is my second favorite thing. These are the Supernova eyeshadows. It has the little constellations and the stars all over it. So cute. And the first one is this one. This is the best one. This is amazing. This one is called Astrology. This is my telepathy eyeshadow in a Supernova form, kind of. This is way better though, only because of the formula. Like the Supernova formula is unbeatable. It's so foiled and incredible. They're literally liquid chrome eyeshadows pretty much. It's just the color is too good and too unique to not be a supernova shadow. Look at this foiled amazingness. So after making that shade, I wanted to make the other shade that I thought was missing in the Supernova Shadow <laughs> collection. And that is this shade right here. And it is the most beautiful champagne pink. I don't know. It's delicious. It has a little bit of everything. It's like a pinky golden champagne silver. And it has a little bit of sparkle in it, but not too much where it's going to be chunky or flake off weird. This is another color that I was waiting for them to launch. Every time they would launch new Supernovas, I'm like, man, where is that champagne? pink color I need so I thought I would just make it myself <laughs> this color is to die for and I decided to name it constellation because it just reminded me of like the little constellations in the sky look how beautiful it is oh my gosh this is what I'm wearing on my lids right now do you see the silvery pinky glitter liner I attempted to do right here on my crease I really didn't think about using supernovas in this way until Jordan said it the other day there's just so many ways you can use the supernova formula you don't just have to use it all over the eyes for the Colourpop photo shoot when we did fire because we did four different looks based off of the four elements he used astrology on my inner corners and it looked really really cool this one looks awesome in the inner corners as a liner all over the lid it's just so bomb okay so in the collection we also have two super shock cheeks when I was first doing this collection I was gonna launch powder highlighters I was ready guys we were gonna do powders and then I was like wait a minute I don't, I don't think I want to do powder <laughs> it was like a moment I had I have a huge love affair with flexitarian Gabby uses that on me all the time at my photo shoots the super shock formula once you know how to work with it it's amazing. This one is my favorite. This is the one I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. Do you see that? Do you see that? This one is called On the Cusp. And I named it that because it kind of has like both. It's kind of gold and silver. It's like on the cusp, you know? This has the most amazing, delicious reflection. I mean, you guys see it on my cheeks, but I can show you on my hand. It is gorgeous. My favorite way to apply this is just strictly with your fingers. Your fingers are your best tool and they are free. All you have to do is rub it in there and start rubbing it on top of the cheeks, but you have to use a very light pressure. You just rub in circular motions. You get the most wet, foiled, beautiful look, but it doesn't emphasize texture because it's not a powder. This one is a little bit deeper, more golden, more peach, and this one is just called fire. And I know that that may seem random. I didn't have a name for it one day and I was applying it and I'm pretty sure, I don't know who was with me, but I remember when I was applying it, someone was like, damn, that's fire. I don't talk like that, so that sounded weird. But the person I was with said that and immediately I was like, I have to name it fire. I'm actually wearing this on my shoulders. Let me add some more. It looks really, really beautiful on the skin. And then last but not least, we have the two Lux lips. I love the packaging on this. Look how cute this is. Oh my God, I didn't tell you. They're blue. All of their Super Shock packaging is white and they let me change my color. So I went with this really cool blue. And the box is black, but it has the little Aquarius water bearer on it. And then for the lipsticks, it has a little Scorpio on it because it's my sun sign, it's my moon sign. This one is my favorite, 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 favorite. I cannot get enough of this. I'm almost done with my other tube of this. But this is my perfect nude. I created literally what I would consider to be the perfect nude lipstick. Uh, obviously for me, it's not gonna be everybody's perfect nude, but I just wanted something that was different than Aquarius. I wanted something that was warmer, but it's the lipstick I'm wearing right now. 
It's perfection to me. I wore this lipstick to an event a couple months ago and I got so many compliments. I was so excited. Oh, and this lipstick is called What's Your Sign? Which is literally the question I ask everybody five minutes into meeting them. They're like, hi, I'm Brenda. How are you? Nice to meet you. And I'm like, hi, I'm Kathleen. What's your sign? And then I decided for my second lipstick, um, I have so many lip colors with ColourPop already, but I kind of wanted to bring it back around and I wanted to make a modern Lumiere. I love the lippy stick formula from ColourPop, but ever since they launched the Luxe lipsticks, I'm like, lippy stick who? Just kidding, just kidding, I love them. But the Luxe lipsticks are unbeatable, especially for the price. This feels, I feel like I have a high-end lipstick on right now. The formula is amazing. So I wanted to make like a modern day Lumiere, and this color is called Scorpio Moon, the perfect everyday mauve. Lumiere has kind of like a warmer undertone, a little bit more of a pinky undertone. This one has a little bit of a cooler undertone. My favorite way to apply this is just tapping it onto the lips. It kind of makes my lips look fuller, more plump. I mix it with so many different things. It's like secretive, like a Scorpio. But anyway guys, that completes this video. 20 years later, this is my longest video I've ever filmed. To date, for sure, 100%. I hope you're excited. I am so I am so excited for this collection. I really created shades that I would wear personally, so if you were expecting like crazy galactic shades, this wasn't the collection, but ColourPop and I are thinking about expanding Zodiac for holiday, like in the future. I don't know. Is that something you'd be interested in? I don't know. Um, thank you so much for the support. Even if you don't buy this, just thank you for the love and the support, for watching my videos, for commenting, just for being the best subscribers anybody could ask for. I love you guys so much. That completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.